Hey guys, what's going on? Jeebus here. Welcome to this video about the project that I have been promising for almost two weeks now that I will make a video about. So let me just move my camera around a little bit, my camera, my microphone around a little bit. And uh, before I start the video, I'm, I'm, I'm going to tell you that I di I, I've been sitting for about an hour and a half now in Windows Movie Maker. All the the uh, pictures and everything has been set up, and everything was like pretty much just made. I I just had to lay the voiceover thing on the video, and then my computer crashed. And with my ADHD brain, I totally forgot to hit that save button. You know, you're supposed to fucking bash that save button all over the place whenever you do something creative in any program at any time always supposed to be saving a lot every time you make a change you save and I totally forgot to do that so my computer crashed I booted up Windows Movie Maker again and it was just not there so I'm, I, I thought well fuck it I need to make this video because I promised these guys and I need to make it but I'm, ju I'm just gonna I'm not gonna care about Windows Movie Maker I'm gonna make a poor man's ghetto version here in OBS instead so let's just skip over to to the scene and what are those those are two metal flower pots and that's what i did hi these are two flower metal pots or metal flower pots that i used to make a spotlight two spotlights actually i have them let me go back to the big one and there's one of them, there's the other one, and here's me, and there's the lamp, and I can turn them off and on with a remote control, like that, and here's the remote control, I showed it on stream like yesterday, I think, um, so that's, that's what that is, and then we're back without the lag, I'm probably gonna cut that out so you don't have to wait for that, so yeah. Let's get into the video. So the first thing I did was pick up something to be the housing for the lamps. And I decided to go with these metal flower pots to work as where I'm going to have the light bulbs actually put into. Uh, I then needed some sockets for the lamps. So I decided to pick up these E14 uh, lamp sockets with shader rings on them. Those rings that you see there are actually for attaching like a shader to the lamp socket if you want to hang it in a window or in the roof or whatever so that's what i got uh i then needed something to put the light lamps on once i was actually done so i decided to pick up these steel rods right here to act as like a, the elevators of or the to elevate the lamps up uh and since I needed to, I've got a Linmon tabletop and it's very fragile right now because there's holes pretty much everywhere. I needed, and I needed these to go through the table. So I needed some kind of reinforcement and to attach them to, so that they were actually stick to the table and not just slide down. That would be very inconvenient. So I got these rings. So th th these rods are actually like a wardrobe um, rod that you put inside a wardrobe and, uh, and these rings are just the ones that you put on each side of the walls, and then you just put the rod in between, like uh, both has hangers and have on them. Uh, so that's what I got for the bottom and the top part of my tabletop, and then some some bolts and nuts for for just putting them in there, uh, the rings. I got some cable. Some cable clamps, or I, I, I'm just gonna, just gonna call them cable clamps. You put a cable in there, and then you just snap that orange thing down, and the cable is secure. Uh, some aluminum foil for the reflections or the reflectors inside the lamps. Some cardboard sheets bigger than the bottom of the uh, the flower pots. Uh, what else did I get? I got some spray glue, or I actually had some carousel, uh, Hogman's carousel spray glue lying around from an old project that I did a long, long time ago. So this is actually, I had some problems. I had to, like, get a, get a nail and just, like, 
peel out some old glue that was stuck in there, some residue. Uh, but it worked out fine, so I was able to use that still. Some tools, like a, a flathead screwdriver, some wire strippers, a wrench. I don't know what that left part is called in English. We call it an insect key or insect tool, whatever. I also decided to pick up this. This is a wireless receiver for this uh, remote control right here, which allows me to turn the lights on and off. I can dim them down if I want to. Um, so I decided to get that. If you if you decided to do this, you don't have to to get this. This is what I got. You can just get a re regular like on off switch, just on the cable. Doesn't really matter. I just did that for convenience. I didn't want to have to like stretch behind my screens and put put a like a on off switch on the cable so that's what I got and so the first thing I did so yeah <laughs> so that's all I had that's all the things that I I used I used this I, I think I used like a scissor as well uh for the but not much else so on to actually working on the project so the first thing I did was to cut holes in the bottom of the flower pots, three holes that corresponded, they were a little bit thicker than the light sockets that I put in. Uh, so that I can fit those three in there. But inside this, this was the say gray color that is on here. It looks like kind of bluish. So, and they actually are, they're kind of grayish blue. And I needed to cover the whole inside of the lamp with aluminum foil. So the first thing I did was to get the base, and I actually found a bottom was the exact size of a CD, uh, like a CD disc. So I just got one of those and drew on on the cardboard in, in the next step. So the first thing I got was spray spray glue the uh, the cardboard sheets with the spray glue glue. I put some aluminum foil with the not as shiny surface like on the cardboard and then just press it out, press it out so that it so that it would take no bubbles or anything, made sure that there were no bubbles. Then I just set let it sit for like 10 minutes uh, and while I waited for that to for the glue to dry, I actually drew the circles and and as you can see they're perfect circles because yes and I use a CD, of course. And what I did next was to cut off these circles once the glue had dried. So these ones are going on the inside of the lamp. But right now, if I put these on the inside, you're not going to get the lamps through. So I had to cut holes in them. But that is a later step. I then cut out seven wedges. I think it's seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven wedges. Yes, of the aluminum foil. The, the top part was almost twice as big as the bottom part to go inside the because it's it's a it's a cone shape they can't be like just regular rectangles they had to be wedged sized um wedge shaped i then went ahead and put all of, oh put all of these wedges inside i sprayed glued the whole inside of uh of the the pots like half and half i just did the whole first half put it all together then i did the other half and then i had to actually Use some white spirit or whatever you call it uh, to, to like some like paint thinner and get the the glue residue off of the wedges that had gotten glue on them. And this is what I ended up with. It's a much better surface to reflect the light, so the light actually goes out of the thing and doesn't doesn't just bounce around and stay inside. I want the light to come out so that it actually shines on me. I then cut holes in the bottom parts. Uh, see these things right here. Yes, <laughs> so I cut the holes from those and uh, put them inside of the lamps, and actually put the lamp holders in there with the shader rings, so everything worked out fine right there. I then had to connect, like, put all the electronics in because right now the lamp, the lamps are pretty much done. There are just one more thing I need to do. To, to the actual lamps, like two more things actually, uh, because as you saw, you ha I had diffusers on the lights right now to diffuse the light so that, uh, if you can see, the shadows are not that, that big actually. Like if I do that, the shadows are pretty sharp. But if I do this, uh, there's no like sharp shadows on there, which is really, really 
necessary for maybe you do lights and you have to film it. The next thing I did was get my old lights. These are my old lights. And look at the size of those. Those were as big as, like, I don't know. If I take this whiskey glass, they were, like, almost this size. A little bit smaller. And uh, it would just... It, it was horrible. Like, they were really small, very concentrated lights. I had... Uh, you can't really see right now, but I had taped over a piece of paper just to diffuse the lights a light a little bit but it was still way too bright and way too concentrated and and the light source was way too small so it created very very sharp shadows and i only used those to get these parts out these are the clamps that i'm going to put on the on the side of the the actual lamps so i had to drill holes on the sides because i was going to clamp them onto the steel rods that you saw earlier and then I put them on there, and uh, yeah, so I put them on there. Uh, now through the fun part, like this part was just boring. It was just dreary. Uh, I hate creating things. I don't hate creating things, but I don't like creating this because it was like, oh, when am I gonna get to the fun part of actually pulling the or putting in the electronics? So here we go. I got the cable, some cable clamps, and three of the connector thingies for the lamp, lamp holders. To, to, so, so this is for one light, not all the cable, but the 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 left part of the of the picture, the three lamp holder thingy sockets stuff, and the 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 pipe cl uh, cable clamps. I'm sorry, I I, I just got home from surgery. I just, well, I was like sedated, so and my English isn't my, my my talking skills aren't very good anyway, so that doesn't really help. The next thing I did was cut out three pieces that were like 10 centimeters long, which is like three inches. Uh, I stripped them down until I got this. This picture was supposed to be like not landscape, but like upright. But you, you get the idea. Uh, put them in to each of these three. And then put got the back side of them. Actually, I had to cut off a little bit more. In order to fit them into these cable clamps. Um, so yeah, that, that that's pretty much what I did. I actually forgot to put on the the uh, rings that go into the lamp sockets. But I, there's a picture of it uh, coming up soon. I, I decided to not separate the colors. So blue for one side and brown for one side. Because this is not grounded. So it doesn't really matter. I should have gotten grounded cables. But I'm... I'm um, Put the brown wires in one cable clamp and the blue ones another so this is what it looks like from the front and from the side and this is what i actually forgot to do i forgot to put these blue rings on there so i had to do that and after a while this is what i ended up with uh so these ones go into the lights like this and the the electronics are pretty much done for the cables now i just need something for the main outlet to work but 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 before that i have to get a cable from here to the dimmer switch and i don't have any pictures of that uh because i decided to go with a little bit of different thing but this was the original idea and this will still work if you decide to do it you can do it with these you can do those regular like white square thingies so that you just put screws into um, I then had to drill holes on, in my table. So this is a 25 millimeter hole. Uh, I had to drill it out and file it out a little bit because I didn't have a 25 millimeter drill bit. I actually had a 10 millimeter drill, drill bit and a file. So this is what I ended up it with. And as I said, this is a lid mount table. So it's like a thin sheet of paper or, or uh, wood, like a just fiber wood, whatever. And then it's paper in between. And then it's another short or a small thin layer of wood on the on the underside of it i then had to do put out the screws because this is where the pipes the pipes or rods are going through and then i had to put out the holes for the screws of the holes this picture is really really bad um i should have gotten a better one but who cares it's just a picture right you you get the idea the, 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 these rings, I, I don't understand why I'm pointing at the screen because you can't see. You can't fucking see. 
You can't fucking see, man. But yeah, yeah. So these rings are what's going on at the top and the bottom, as I said in the beginning of the video. And I need to make holes for them to um, a hole to go through them, and then three more holes to, to hold them in place. So once I had done that, I put everything together. I screwed them down, put the rods in at a good height. Uh, the rods are one meter long, by the way, so no, it doesn't matter. They're one meter long and 25 centimeters, millimeters across. Uh, I then tried clamping the lights on, and it works really, really, really good. And that is the last picture that I have of the lamps. So what I'm going to do now is... I'm going to go into Movie Maker, I'm going to put this video in there, then I'm going to add a comparison for from the old lights and the new lights on there, and then I'm going to be right back. So here's the old lights, and as you can see, they're very small, and that light is very, very, like, the, the light sources are very, very small, cast this very sharp shadows here's the new lights and as you can see there's much more light going on the room was completely dark and this this actually lights up the whole room and i can dim the lights down as you can see i'm dimming down the left one and then i'm dimming up the right one and i can dim it down so i can have very very small very very dim lights going on i can dim it up to get very very bright light there is no diffusion on these these lamps right now but they're still really really good so and they're they can i can just shut them off again and this video is taking forever but uh that's the comparison between the lights so uh yeah yes so there you go guys that's the whole video i had for you today and I know it wasn't as good as you probably have hoped. And it's, it's definitely not as big, good as I had hoped. But that's what it is. This is it. And I hope you enjoyed it. If, if you have any questions or any comments about what I could have done differently. If you have any questions, how did I do this? How did I do that? Where I, do I get this? How much did it cost? It cost me probably around, uh, I don't know, like probably like 60 bucks a lamp. Mostly because of the, the dimmer switches. Those were like 20 bucks a pop. Plus the remote control was $20. So, or 20 bucks. So, keep in mind, you can do this for under 50 bucks for each lamp. I just had, I, I just went the extra mile and got some fancy stuff. But you don't have to do it if you want to do it yourself. So, thank you so much for watching guys. I will be back with a new video soon, I hope. With something, I don't know whatever <laughs> if you have any ideas uh post them down below in the comments i will also put this up on facebook so make sure to, to check on there the reason why i did this lights is because uh if you're watching this on youtube then you're you you might, might not be following my twitch stream i'm a live streamer if you don't already know that if you watch some of my previous videos i've mentioned it but uh, if you would swing by and just leave a like or uh, drop a follow, that would be very much appreciated. So thank you guys so much. Also, make sure to check out my Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. I am at Jeebus TV nowadays. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Jeebus out. Peace!